Oh, okay. Uh, we're back. And we're into raid. We're looking at raid. Uh, right now, we have so much going on. The month of December is going to be absolutely insane. There is a fusion. The announcement is that there basically there is a fusion coming. Uh, there is a fusion coming this month. We also have this huge Yuletide Titan event, which is broken down into a series of events and tournaments. Uh, if you've gone all in on this, you'll be able to earn a legendary Tormund the Cold, which is a spectacular legendary on top of it. Uh, it gives me all kinds of problems in arena. Let's look at the index. I want to see where we're at. Dwarves. Where is he? He's a dwarf, right? Torment. There he is. Couldn't find him. Defensive dwarf. Uh, void legendary. Freeze on his A1. It is an AOE freeze. His second, his A2 is a, uh, removes all buff from a target enemy. Then attacks two times. Steal ball all buffs instead. If the target's under a freeze. If he's under freeze and HP burn, he ignores defense. A3 is another AOE. Places block buffs and 100% heal reduction buff for two turns on enemies under freeze. 60% chance of placing provoke for one turn on enemies not under freeze. Decreases the cooldown of one random skill of each ally by one turn for every enemy attacked under both a freeze and HP burn. His passive has a 20% chance of placing a freeze on the enemy each time they receive a buff or have their turn meter filled. Does not work with effects from artifact sets, blah, blah, blah. Revives this champion to 100% HP when killed and places a freeze debuff on this champion for one turn. So that's the active effect. Revives this champion to 100% HP when killed and places a freeze debuff Ray on this Dust champion for one five turn. Five five says, hey, I don't play raid, but if I were to start, what recommendation you would have? THX. Uh, if you if you've never played it, um, I can tell you that when you start, it will take you probably about three weeks to start unlocking a lot of the stuff in the game. It will take you a couple of months to reach the minimum level. You'll be in the game multiple months before you start to unlock everything. Uh, but the difference between this and Raid, is, or this and FC Mobile, is there's no reset. It's constantly expanding. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We talk about this quite a bit, how over the last couple of years, all of the things they've added to the game, from new bosses and new dungeons and Hydra, uh, we have all these different things here in the main area. The Altar of Souls. We just were added mythical champions. There is It is so complex uh, compared to um, any other... In, compared to like FC Mobile. If on a scale of 1 to 10, if FC Mobile is a 1, this game is a 10 in complexity there's you could be playing the game for years and still have stuff that you that you haven't mastered haven't figured out there there are things in the game right now multiple things in this game right now that i have never even attempted have never even tried yet because we just don't have time it is a grinder's dream it, it's it's a completely different animal. The once you start it, you just follow the the instructions and start doing everything that they say. 
best advice is to do everything you possibly can and just stay the course and don't get too panicked about uh, what's coming in. Um, let's see. We have right now, we have the Yuletide Titan event. Uh, we have Summon Rush going on right now, which I'm trying to finish. We have the Special Arena Takedown, which starts in 11 hours. Champion Training ends in two days. Uh, we have the Artifacts Enhancement that ends in a day. I haven't even started this. I got one day yet to finish it. Uh, we need 5,600 points. For 50 snow points. I have decided that even though we have a. Um, even though we have a fusion coming. I've already got Fire Knight turns done. Even though we have a fusion coming. I am going to. Let's see. Champion training is almost done. Artifact Enhancement I haven't started. Dungeon Divers is not giving out any tokens, but I would really like to get that Primal Shard. Summon Rush, I went for the 100 points, but I, I kept going, and I think I want the 200 Snow Points. I do want the 200. It's 4,100, and I think I'm going to have to... Uh, um, shit. I think I'm going to have to go for these 200, even if it means a little bit of a struggle for the fusion. I want those 200 snow points. So 4,100, I need 1122. 1122. I've got six sacred, three void, 41 progressive, 1132. I could use... I want to keep the six sacred. Three voids is 360. I could use a bunch of the mystery shards. Maybe 10. That's 360. That's 860. If I use if I use all three void. I don't want to use all of the ancients. I don't know. Maybe I should just use the ancients and forget it. I mean, there's 2,000 points there for the ancients. And I got mysteries. I could use some, I could blow through some mystery shards. What do I have? I need. Ah, shit. There's just so much shit going on. Uh, let's do. I needed. Let's do the. Um, Who do I need to put? Do I have... I think I picked up another Scar Hide the other day. So, where is Scar Hide? Duck. There's my Scar Hide. I want to build another Scar Hide. Uh, specifically, let's see, where do I have... What do I have? I've got two other scar hides. Let's see how they're built. We're looking at one in speed and accuracy. And where's the other one? The other one is in affinity breaker. With heavy defense and crit damage. Let's put... What do we want to put this scar hide in? Mm, turn meter control. So I want him as fast as I can get him. Why do I need three? I think I'm going to probably use... I, I want I want three for uh, Dark Fae. I want three for a Dark Fae team. Plus, I just have... I had nothing else to, to train for the champion training event. 
and I kind of want to mix things up a little bit. Uh, let's do heavy defense. I want speed. I want this one so fast. Let's see, what speed gear do I have? Let's go. I want primary stats and speed. Destroy. Nor's destroys at max. And we can do with destroy. Toxic. I had a scar hide in toxic at one point. I don't remember what for though. Crit damage, defense. Let's try this on. Do toxic. We want defense. Crit rate. Defense was 60, HP, crit rate. I don't really need one for clan boss. There's double crit rate and one defense. We'll try this one on. What do we have here? Crit rate with speed. Double speed. Try it on. No speed. Accuracy crit rate. Double speed. Crit rate crit damage. Helmet. Single speed. There's a double speed. With 5% crit rate. See if we can roll any speed here on the helmet hack nope I thought there was another one I was that had crit rate single crit rate roll the other thing is is I just need stuff to be able um Thanks for hanging. Crit rate at 14. Speed at 18. Let's try this one on. Okay, so we need a double. And let's just max this. Okay, 98 crit rate. Accuracy is really low. I, I, oh shit. I'm giving up accuracy here, and I don't want to give up accuracy. What do we need? Helmet? Accuracy triple roll. And a shield. With speed and accuracy. There's a double roll in accuracy. There's speed and accuracy. Twenty-eight and three. It was a thirty-four seven defense. God, everything's low. Speed is only one forty-eight. Let's max out. Accuracy is only 146. This is awful. Um, yeah, I want more accuracy. I can, I can pull accuracy from the banner. Correct. 
can grab some more accuracy through upgrades, but I would like it. I, it's just way too low on accuracy. Um, let's just equip it. Do I have an accuracy banner? Accuracy at 96, 16 speed. That's actually the one to use right there. Defense. Want a defense ring. Defense. With some defense percentage substats. Do I even have one? No. That's the best I have. All right. All right, he started. What else? Who else do I need here? Who else doesn't have anything? See, that I'm trying to find excuses for the artifact enhancement event. I still need someone else in gear for artifact enhancement. Who else? Everybody else is built. I don't have anybody in here on the lower side of things that I really kind of want to put anything into. And everybody's all... F Ooh, wait, who's this? Astrolith. Shadowkin. Forgot that we have... Was it uh, Arena? What do we have here? Gamoran. Well, we we've pulled off his. Shield. What did we, what kind of shield did we need him in? Defense. Attack based. He's not laying debuffs. So I don't need accuracy. Himbo. Do I have attack percentage? Attack percentage, 17 speed. Attack percentage, no speed. Attack percentage, double speed. We'll do that. Uh, what else? Who else? Why do I not have me a shield? Or at what point I pulled the stuff off of these? I must have been building someone else. That's why I don't have a shield. She got speed. Do I have a speed here? Nope. Shield. Defense. Double speed. Speed and crit rate. Speed at 18. 11. Swap that out. Okay, we need 
What do we have better than resilience? What about... Righteous? Or maybe Defiant? Let's do Defiant. We need a Speed. Speed Boot. And Defense. Attack Resistance. HP Crit Rate. Crit Damage and Defense. Resistance, crit damage. Okay, we'll take both of these. This fixtures that out. Oh, triple roll and defense. Nice. Well, that was expensive. 1.7 mil. Alright. Artifact enhancement. You need to get to 5,600. Who else? Spears built. Let's stick with Shadowkin. How'd you go? Did you get everything you wanted? Oh, man. Don't beat her. I know. Don't need... Should be able to build a team out of this. Do we have... We have no revivers. Are there any revivers here? What do we got? Gamurin. Text one enemy two times. All enemies. Target is dead. Revives one random ally each time an enemy is killed. So Gamurin. We might need to to finish him off. Let's do Ascension. Take Gamoran all the way. Okay, so we need... Accuracy is where he's sitting. At 220. He's bringing... Block active skills. True fear. Block revive. Crit damage... What is everything based off of? Attack and HP. Let's throw an HP. Let's just max this to 16. It's at 14 already. HP. Crit damage. It. I have nothing. HP nineteen hundred. Uh, I'm the only reason I'm building him. He's somebody I've wanted for a long time, and it's because of his um, 
A3 can target dead or living enemies. If the target is dead, places block revive on them, then attacks all enemies. Each enemy will receive damage equal to 20% of the target enemy's max HP. If the target is a boss minion, the damage is equal to 20%. If the target is alive, places a true fear debuff on them for two turns and heals all allies by 20% of the target. Uh, if the target is a boss or a boss minion, the healing is equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. The true fear debuff cannot be resisted. Uh, specifically, I wanted him kind of uh, for Ice Golem. I wanted to build a team around him for Ice Golem. So I want accuracy here on the banner, but I want it fast. So do I have any accuracy... There's 12 on speed. There's no speed bump. What happens if I take it to 12? 1. 11. No, I want accuracy here. There's 14. Accuracy is only at 78, though. So we're looking at 14 versus 11. But more accuracy. HP 17%. See. HP up 3760, HP up 786. I will take the advantage of HP and accuracy over the three speed. All right, we're just finding an excuse to basically enhance artifacts. We are at 39.62, so I need 1,700 more, and we're getting, Jesus, we're only getting 340. Okay. We're going to piss through everything, coin-wise. What do we have? Defense. That didn't help me any. Attack. Defense. Speed. Just so we have one. Relentless. Savage. When will the Christmas fusion start? I don't know. Probably the next Thursday would be the guess. Where are we at? 12. Speed. Speed, HP, and speed. 12 and 12. Six stalwart. Let's look at somebody here worth. Actually, let's do substats. It's got to have speed and crit rate. 
What has speed and crit rate? Resistance, attack. I don't want. Double crit rate. That's a one worth rolling. And speed. And crit damage. All right, let's see where we're at now. D6. We need 600. So probably one or two more will get me there. One or two more. Yes, they will overlap. Everything will overlap for this. What do you need me to do? Crit rate. We're just doing some rolls here so I can try to find something to train. Lady breaker. HP, speed, crit rate. I'm looking for triple rolls here. Here we go. Speed. HP. Defense, attack. Resistance. Right, let's go to... Filter. It's not the. Okay, I want. Legendary. Dark Elves. Attack. No. Let's see. Crit damage. Elves. Air seat with no speed. HP. I don't need any of these. This is just, I'm looking for excuses to train. There's an accuracy. Let's just train this one all the way to 16. No speed used. Do we get it? Done. Artifact enhancement is complete. Dungeon divers I'm not too worried about. Let's go back to summon rush. 4,100. How much do we need? 4,100. So 1,122. 1,122. Haste. Let's see what we've got here. We might be able to knock out champion training on top of it. With just some ranking. Just trying to make room here. So many five-star champions ready to go. Let's do 10. 
Let's do mystery shards. Let's see how much mystery shards we can pump in. And just train. Uncommons. Because I need uncommons maxed out as part of a quest. We'll take this down a few hundred. It's just time consuming. We just pulled a rare. I don't know who it was. Too bad it's summon rush and not the other way around. Ten. Keep running out of silver. Are you doing artifact enhancement? I had all that silver left over from Spider and Fire Knight. Okay. Nothing. Let's do... There's some 17s. Finish these out to 30. All right. You're low on silver too? That's why I I burnt everything. Okay, I got a question for you. I had a uh, clan. I had a quest from the clan quest that was sell 5 million coins worth of artifacts and I ran a spider and the the other one fire knight and it completed the quest on auto sell so apparently they fixed that where you it now it, it now is using what you've sold from auto sell towards those quests it's never worked before. It worked today. Which is awesome. That's fantastic. There's so much to do. And I mean, we're just like a couple of days into this thing. So I'm excited. Yeah, double check it. But it worked for me. It worked for the clan quest. I don't know if it'll work for like your daily quests or anything. But that saved a ton of time. And I didn't do it on purpose. I just, I did it and I came back after auto battle was done and looked and it, it had a quest complete. And I, I ran like 60 turns on Fire Knight. And the only thing it was saving was like regeneration and something else. I can't remember what it was. Destroy maybe it was the only thing it was saving. So it, and it sold more than made more than 5 million in the automatic sales. That's how it finished that out. Where is my mercy at? So six ancients since the last epic. 92 voids. 186 ancients, though. Since my last legendary. That means pulling some ancients. Probably not as bad idea as I had previously anticipated. Nerdmaster, welcome to the stream.
36 ancients until full mercy I think don't they kick in at 200 so I haven't even kicked into mercy yet but I'm close We're at 28. We're almost done with these. Nine. Two or three more turns. At 220, you get a Lego no matter what. Yeah, two more. Okay, Max. Let's make some space. Champion training, is it done? Nope. We're getting there, though. I should probably turn that off. I don't need him for anything. Okay, 10. All right. We'll do this until we can, then we'll open up some ancients. You got three miscreated monsters. How good is good in Hydra, Sammy? I have I have not even played a single one yet. Okay, Ancients. Let's open seven. Let's look at the Mercy, though, first. So, Ancients. Oh, it is. 220, because it's 5% increase. All right, let's do... We'll open seven Ancients. It's 350 points. One... Here's number two. Three. Number four. Ah, oh, there we go. Narma the Returned. That is a top that requires some tape. Uh, Narma the Returned. Is she an awful champion? Yes or yes, she's awful. Utterly pointless. Well, shit. Um, look at that headdress. She is pissed off. Urgh. That is 
A face only a mother could love. What is up with these champions with no nipples? Like, her boobs must have... Like, are they surgically removed in the underworld? What's going on here? Because that is a lot of flesh for there to not be a little bit of nipple. Yeah, I think her boobs look like a fish. You know, where the eyes are on the side? Nipples are way outside. She has, like, Down Syndrome titties. They're spread out. Okay, let's, uh, she's not good for shit. It's Knight's Revenant. Summon Rush. Where are we at now? 32. We need 900 more. Alright. Three more. Oh, wait. Let's fix. We did four. So, zero and ancients since the last legendary. Ten since the last epic. Let's open. Zero ancient since... Ten ancient since the last epic. Let's open up three more. What do we get? Melga Steel Girdle. That's an awful name. What is up with these dwarves in their giant headdress things? At least she looks well protected. Um, she's not worth a shit, I'm assuming. One enemy removes a random rebuff. Continuous heal, shield. Two random ally revive, though. So she's a reviving dwarf. That's actually not as bad as I was thinking. Elga Steel Girdle. Let's see, what does Hell Hades rate her? Four. Wow. No utility other than faction wars. Ice Golem. Why is she Ice Golem? Random debuff from a random ally. Shield on all eyes. Shield. Continuous heal. Shield buff after revision. Okay, we're not dumping her. But, uh... She might be one... That... We, we'll just probably put her in the faction. Put her into uh, the, the vault. Put her in the vault. You pull dupe Marinix on main account and dupe Bad Ally on secondary. Don't have Marinix on secondary. Don't have Bad Ally on main. That's funny. I don't have Bad Ally on any. 
and I've never used Marinix. Have her. Never did anything with her. Is that it? Okay, so now two more. So three since the last legendary. Two since the last epic. We've pretty much ran them dry. Right, where are we at here with Summon Rush? Nine hours. Need 700. And we have... Make some space here. Put steel girdle in the vault. Along with our Knight's Revenant. that we don't have duplicates of. Bad L, a solo farmer for Ice Golem and Dragon. I would like to have Bad L. Uh, let's... Champion training's gotta be close. Start rolling this. Normal 25, solo bad L. I wish I had bad L. Michaela, welcome. So much to do. So much to do right now. I'm, but I am really pumped for the month of December. So much stuff going on right now. I love the Titan event. Titan event looks fantastic. I am pumped for the opportunity for a Christmas fusion on top of it. Uh, going all in on both Titan event and the Christmas fusion and attempting to do all of this without spending a penny is going to rely in very heavily on good luck in the daily clam boss rewards. I need some shards in the clam boss. Champion chases will be easy. Um, the really the only thing that's going to cause me problems are the shards needed for. Summon Rush. My guess is uh, that we'll see. Um, my guess is we'll see the fusion as early as next Thursday. For your two week fusion, next, th let's say it starts next Thursday on the. 14th like a week from this Thursday so 11 days from now if we get it on the 14th that it would end it on the 28th that makes sense I think the 14th to the 28th is when you're going to see the fusion uh, he, yeah here's our uh, clan boss is yeah we'll, we'll kill all of them Brutal, too. I think everybody will. How soon am I to another key? Five hours? I must have. I must have rolled this shit late today. Yeah, this one's done. This one's done. Let's throw a key at Brutal. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll knock all of them out. I usually get those. We'll get double rewards for those three. Uh, where was I at? Oh. Let's make way here. Should be worried a little bit more about the champion training event, but there's... I don't really need it yet. And I'm still trying. I've got. I've got Clan Quest here. Still need 89 more. I have a day and nine hours to get 80. I, have, I was behind on the quest. 89 uncommons. I don't know if I'm going to finish that one. Uh, here we go. Let's open seven more of these things. It's another 350 points. It's one. I have a saw. Two. Hell freak. Three. Four. Oh, epic. And it sees. No one we want. So four on epic. So seven since the last legendary. Zero since the last epic. Okay. Here we go. Number one. Number two. Adriel. Number one. Okay, risk harm. So ten and one since the last epic. Got to keep the mercy up to date. All right. Summon Rush. Mortal Soul Stone. 37, 38. I need to get to 41. So 362. 362. And I have 28 Ancients. 577 Mystery Shards. I, I should just use Mystery Shards. And save the ancients for the next summon rush. That would be the smart thing to do. Not saying I'm smart, but that would definitely be the smart thing to do. Uh, let's do. We're not saving any of these. They're all food. Three. Take to 40. How many of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 five star food so I can take two 50s to 60. While doing champ training, you will open mystery shards anyways now. Yeah. Yeah, but I have 500 of them. I don't think I'm going to do 500. How close am I on champion training? I've got to be close. Unless I go for the mortal soul stone. I think I should just set this up. Yeah. Four. Let's make 
three more. All right. That's where I'm going to end it. I'm going to set this up for auto, and uh, I've actually got to go back over to the shop. That's what he's texting me, to come over and help him move vehicles. Uh, the ugly Mustang is not done yet, and he got another one dropped off. So now he's more than a week backed up on jobs. It's good. That's a good problem to have. It's good when you're he's booked out months in advance. And I can't say it's because I taught him well. Because I didn't teach him shit when it comes to this. He taught me. All right. Pull 362 mysteries. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to pull mystery shards for the rest of this. We'll hold the ancients unless I run out of time tonight and uh, have to. Like I run out of time to pull all the mysteries because I only have so much space. And I just used all of the coins to uh, get... Used all the coins to get the shit. Artifact enhancement. I filmed him well? Yeah. I was over there today. I was over there helping at the shop today. And he's got some new headset that goes on. That's got like a giant LED light clear across the front. That is super cool. And I was like, look, I'm going to film you using that headset. And I'm going to do a review of that headset. Because that headset is super sweet. It's like $10. And for what he was doing, it was nice. So I was filming him using that again today. That'll be the next video for Gearheads. It's a $10 headlight. It's honestly, though, it's nice. In fact, I'm sitting there watching music. I'm like, I want one of these. So I got one on Amazon while I was watching him. I'm like, well, if I want saw him use it and I want one, I've got to make a video. Since there's nothing else to do right now. I need to get some shit out of my garage so I can start working on the truck again. That's it. Sunday stream. Something different. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate it. Sammy. Kinsey. Boom was here earlier. Champ was here. Champ Cole. I'm trying to remember who else was here. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Kinsey, if I didn't say it already. And uh, we'll be back Tuesday. Tuesday for streams. Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, I will not. Yeah, Stormy too. Thanks, John. Appreciate you guys. Uh, I will not be here on Friday. We are traveling Friday for holiday. Uh, but I will be here Tuesday and Wednesday. And maybe a nighttime stream. If I can get another night one in this week, I'd like to get another nighttime in. The month of December is the push for subs, not on Twitch, but on YouTube. So pay attention to the channels because I'm trying to crank out one video, even if it's a short, every single day this month for all three channels. Gearheads, um, FC Mobile, and Raid. We can raid Ruben. Is Ruben live? The new... Um, Ruben's not live. Yeah, he's not on now. We will raid Mile CN owner because he always shows up for our giveaways. And he deserves a raid every once in a while. And he's always on at a weird time. And since I'm on at a weird time, we can do the raid. So at least pop in over there and say hey to Miles C and owner. You'll know who it is. He's from the FC Mobile streams. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you guys. Raid is incoming. I'll see you on the next one. I'm finally he sleeps. As long as you guys keep showing up, I'll keep making videos.
Thanks for watching. If you haven't noticed, my YouTube channel has expanded. Subscribe here for Raid Shadow Legends content, but make sure you check out my other channels as well for EA Sports FC, everything automotive over at Gearheads, and visit Cringeworthy for a few laps. Subscribe links are right over there.